In this morning's showbiz report, a new horror film, Books of Blood, is now out on Hulu. Mandy the Movie Guy has the story. Ready whenever you are. I need complete darkness. Or rather, they do. Well, let's begin with the genesis of the film. What got you interested in co-writing and directing Books of Blood? Well, I've been a fan of Books of Blood since they came out in the 80s, and even had my copy of Books of Blood signed by Clive Barker at a science fiction bookstore in Santa Monica in like 1987. I remember it vividly, he does not. Uh, but I knew that if I ever became a filmmaker someday, I wanted to turn these into an anthology movie because that to me that was the perfect vehicle for it. And then by some miracle, I ended up in a room with Clive Barker conceiving the movie, you know, about three years ago. All the dead have stories. There is a place where these horrors are transcribed. The approach I took was kind of a Pulp Fiction approach. Pulp Fiction is not a horror movie, but it's a great anthology movie in that they have it has individual stories that don't rely on each other, but they cross pollinate in great ways that just bolster the whole piece. And that's kind of what I looked at to structure the movie. Where did it even work? Is it a nice place? No. But when I was ta talking to Mr. Brandon earlier, the director, and yes. he did remind me that it's almost like a Pulp Fiction thing. And I was like, exactly. It is, it is. And it, and it really, it uh, it frames the movie, you know? Bennett Bennett, and, and Steve, they frame the film. Because you start with them and then you go into the other stories and then they, you and then you rejoin them. I wanted to bring some comedy to it. I, I it, it can't. You know, things that are really scary have to have levels. It can't all be sort of fright because then it's not scary anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry, dear. I didn't mean to startle you. Do you believe in the supernatural? I believe in the, that the natural world is as weird as anything we can imagine. And I believe in keeping an open mind. Do you believe in the supernatural? Of course. I'm Cuban. <laughs> So is that on your list? <laughs> Do you believe in the supernatural? <laughs> I believe that natural is super. I like that. There we go. We'll go with that one. All right. Uh, we'll take a break. <laughs> we'll be right back.